What's up guys, it's your boy JR303. Before we begin, give us that thumbs up and subscribe. Um, like I said, we're a new channel, so we're trying to figure all this out and get it going. So today I'm bringing you guys an unboxing of a core of uh, the new uh, EDC belts I got and some range belts I'm going to be using. I used to use a different a tactical belt for the range, but I switched over to the new holster from Blackhawk. I got the newer, not the Serpa, but it's their new T series, I think it is. So I switched over to them, but it doesn't fit on my battle belt, so. I'm gonna try these out so let's get into it I did an order okay let's get let's see this is what instruction manual tells you what to do so guys if you have this and you lost your instruction manual if you look at this take a screenshot I'm just gonna yeah my phone you can take it with your phone. Here's another one. What they give you. And we'll be going over everything. Okay. So take screenshots of any of this you guys see. If you need it. Okay. This is something I got for the belts of hanging. I had seen some people they got the single ones with their belts. I didn't get that. But this can hang up to three belts. I'm going to try to see if I can call Core and they'll send me a single one. And I forgot. So I bought a kit. And it's the. Well, these are the the ones I have bought. They're the 1.75. I got the 10, 10 pound rating version. They had the bigger one. But I figured these 1.75. These are the Garrison gun belts. The G1 black and i got the second belt because they offer you it for like not quite half price but like for a little less so we'll open it up and see I'm gonna, they're the same belts so i'll show you I'm gonna put this one up there these belts are too big so this is what the belts look like up close this is the nylon black then they have this kind of have a core I don't know what that core is hopefully it's leather when I cut it I'll disassemble one of these cut open the belt I've noticed people have looked at them but they've never actually dissected the belt I'll do that here's your measurements so you know where to cut and I got big scissors I'll be doing that off screen uh, maybe I'll do a video showing you how to do it but these are the belts And this is how you adjust it once it's on. It has all these. It's kind of like a mission belt. If you ever guys watch Shark Tank, they had the mission belt on. And they click on these and they give you micro adjustments. It's just plastic. But these are really. You can hear it cracking. There's probably glue and stuff in them. But these are really. You can't crush these. And they really. Hold their attention. So this is the garrison belt. I have a tape measure here somewhere. I'll look. And I'll show you guys the measurements. But here's. It was the green. Version or what they call tan. They say tan. It looks more green to me. But hey. I guess it is what it is. But this is their tan belt. It doesn't look the same as on the internet but this is it here let me show you the buckle it came with i got the second belt and i didn't get a buckle with it and i didn't even think because i forgot these are screwed on so they should give you a second buckle let's go back into our box see this is how it came in the box they give you this bands for the excess if you have excess that loops out that's not a sticker, that's the box. We'll be going over that one as well. Yep, 1.75 exact. 
So if you guys seen that, I didn't go from here, but you can go from there. Messed up. I went from the one, but look, it's right at 1.75. Hopefully you guys could see that. Keep messing up. So these are 10 pound rated for gear, which I'm not right. I'm only running two mags and a which you might hear a bleep on the video because you're not allowed to say that word on YouTube. So it's not a cuss word. I just have to bleep the word out. Can't say the G word. But here's the buckle. It's for these. I got to get another one for these because, I, like I said, you need to mount some of screws. And I'm going to Loctite these on once they're on. So there's the up close teeth that grab into the belt and how that works is here once you measure it you will unloosen your screws you're gonna stick this in to the back here see I can go that far I'll just show you guys and then you just lock that down set your screws once it's all the way and the belt will go all the way and I know I'll get some people oh you need to push the belt all the way back I'm not sizing it right now just showing you guys example and then you can once that's on then you put your belt in and it goes through here you can hear it and you use this here up here where my finger is to unlock it let me give you guys a back version of that so you guys can see how it locks in and you use this to slide it off okay so this is a textured belt buckle okay now let's get into <clears throat> this is from core essentials belts these are the 1.5 inch belts and this is the eight pound rating and I got the bundle I can show you guys that see a bundle and let's see what this one comes with same thing as before. Has those things for the flaps that you're. Doing. This has the screws and the tool you need. And this other belt did have those too. So I don't know. It already comes with. I guess they give you extra hardware. So we'll put that there. Let's see. The, yeah, I got the one with the leather and the. Uh, nylon and that was so that came with two and a two buckles so that's what i got there here's our 1.5 here's the leather belt i have these belts actually i didn't even i was expecting for these to be they say eight pounds this isn't still has its core this it does have a hard core in there this is a lot more flexible than those but this is your leather so when you dress up I appendix carry so I'll use this this is nice Let's see this one here's your nylon belt it's identical to the other one I bought it's just 1.5 inches And you can see this is much what I was wondering is because I'm looking it says core but it's leather and it's I could tell on the edges it's not as stiff it's still 1.5 but look look at the core on that the difference between the two the leather the other one let's see this feels a lot it's flexible actually but it does feel a lot stronger this way. You can't crush it. And I'll be dissecting this one as well. I'll dissect the leather one. I'll dissect them all for you guys on camera. But here's your nylon. Same thing. This is made in China. I thought core belts are made in the United States. There you go. I bought them. I thought they were made in China. They come with a one year warranty. I heard really good things. So I tried. I wanted to use them. Let's see the buckles I got. Okay, so this is like that. 
is really similar to the other one I had got. Same color, texture, just a little different. This is more of a belt buckle. Has the same spring, same locking mechanism. Let's see. See? There's your set screws and all that. It's all the same. This is just for the smaller one. This is for your dress belt. These are all heavy duty. This one doesn't. Notice. I guess they all do swing. A little less. This. It's probably because of that finish they have on it. It's slicker, smoother finish. It's cores. It's patent. Pat. It has a patent on it. I can't say that now on camera. But that's spring assisted. I'm going to show you guys this on the leather belt. Same thing. Lock on. That's what it looks like. Feels like a high quality product. So, yeah, that's what we got. So I'll let you know, when I do my range days, I'll have these out there, testing them out. And then the thinner ones I'll switch. And that's Core Essentials belts. So I'm really excited to try these out. So until next time, guys, stay tuned. Remember, subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Uh, let's build this channel.